begun to maybe look at the, the full bracket. What are your thoughts on Casey? No, I think it's going to be a great event. I think um, it's kind of a, a mirror of what the guys have. Um, I think you're looking at games that, that uh, rival the NCAA tournament first and second round mm -hmm. games. I think it's a, a tournament where you could pick a lot of teams. Um, to win it, uh, I think that's a little different on the women's side. Um, so I think it's going to be fun. I can't wait to get to Kansas City. I've said many times that besides the NCAA tournament itself, I think it's the best basketball event in our country. Um, Kansas City does a great job. And in women's ter tournaments together, uh, I think it's going to be a blast. Are, were you allowed to vote for Ash for player of the year? No. No, we, uh, we nominate players, but you're not allowed to vote for your own players. I would have voted for her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I had the opportunity, yeah, I would have voted for her. You know, she's, she's in some pretty elite company, obviously. She and Bridget being the only ones mm -hmm. that win it. But what's that say just that, you know, she, she got the votes of all the coaches in the league and people – who have seen her for a long, long time. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the biggest thing right there, Tommy, is, is the, the coaches that she plays against voted for it. So it's, it's, it's not just what we think. It's not um, opinions on anyone. It's the people that have to deal with her twice a year. Um, and now at least Baylor three times. Um, they're the ones that picked her. They're the ones that felt she was the best player. Uh, and I think to her credit, uh, you know, to, to play the way she played with that kind of, I don't think, pr I don't know if pressure is the right word, but expectations, and especially after Steph got hurt, uh, for her to, to continue to do what she, she's done. And um, it's a great way, it, it's a great honor for her to, I don't think, again, I don't think validates not the right word at all, but I, I think the, a, a great way to end uh, an amazing career, uh, to be on a list, not just with Bridget, but if you're the player of the, the year in the Big 12, that's, that's, a, pretty impressive, uh, that's a pretty impressive honor. And, and there's a long list of great, great players that uh, she's on forever, and, and it's well-deserved. What about Danae, too? Obviously, I think when the awards come out, like a lot of people think, like, OK, Ashley, Lex, and, mm -hmm. and Emily are mm -hmm. going to get theirs. But for, for Danae to have this season that she didn't get recognized with. No, I think it's great for Nay. Um, and again, I, I, she deserved it. Um, there weren't a lot of freshmen that, that played uh, a, a lot of minutes, and, and certainly she played a lot of minutes on, on a team that was pretty good, uh, on a team that really needed her. And what I told her was, uh, you know, like I told Ass, like I told Bridget, like I've told a lot of players, I hope this is the start of a lot of things. If the highlight of her career is that she's on the all-freshman team, she didn't do her job and I didn't do mine. Uh, hopefully this is a good thing for her to build on and look forward to. But she, uh, she had a great freshman season. And um, uh, I, I, I think for her, it, it, it finished on a high note. And um, hopefully that's, that'll springboard her into the postseason. I know you touched on this a little bit, but in the future, they're moving the Big 12 tournament format to separate the. Damn, I thought I'd get away. I thought I'd get away. Not have to <laughs> answer that question. <laughs> Did you ask a question? No. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't like it. Um, I think the way we're doing it now is absolutely perfect for everyone, but kind of like at home. Uh, my vote doesn't really count. So, uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. I, 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 I've been on this track forever. Our administration's been on this track forever. I think to have them in the same time, in the same city, uh, is, is the best way to do it. I think it's the best for the fans. I don't know how many fans are going to take 10, 11 days off of work. I don't think most people could do that. I think it's going to split the media. Um, that's just my opinion, and I'll probably get in trouble, but that's okay. I've been in trouble before. And, I don't want to have to worry about it too much longer. So um, I, I'm just disappointed. Our kids love it. I think the idea of – and the fans going back and forth and having a pep rally together tomorrow and everything that's the celebration of basketball in the Big 12, to me, has been better when it's together. But uh, smarter people and, and people that make those decisions uh, don't agree. 
How unique is it? I mean, you face Baylor three times a year before, which I know is never an enviable task, but how unique is it that you won on their floor and then get up yeah. on your floor? You just add a new wrinkle to Yeah, that, yeah that, that is, that's definitely a little different. Um, and, and I think, like, I, I think I said this the other day, if you look at, uh, you know, the teams in the tournament, there's a lot of us that have split or there's been some odd sweeps. And, and that, again, I think that's what makes this tournament a lot of fun. And whoever wins it, you, you're going to have to play really, really well for three days. Um, and, and if you don't win it, it's a great, uh, it's one more great opportunity to play at least one game at, at a level that you're going to have to play in the NCAA tournament. So... I think it's a win-win in a lot of uh, a lot of regards, and uh, the postseason is so much fun. If, if you're a basketball person, it's what we live for, uh, and it's uh, it's exciting that our team gets to to have that opportunity. And we're looking forward to to playing on Friday. Is the carrot dangling of possibly hosting a motivating factor uh, in this? I, I, um, you'd probably have to ask the players that. I, I, it, it's not for me. I, I don't think that's a real possibility, and I, I've maybe I'm I'm in the minority. I, I don't know that. Yeah, it's great if we do it, but that's not something that I've really thought that much about. I think um, for our team to be where we to, to finish where we did and uh, to do the things that they did, I'm I'm really proud of them for that. And if uh, if not finishing in the t in, in the top four seed is a disappointment, I think we have our priorities in a really bad place. I mean, I'm thinking for us, not anyone else. Um, yeah, it's great to play at Hilton and all that stuff, but um, I think the idea of playing in the NCAA tournament is what, why you practice and, and why you play. And with again, with what this team has gone through to be in a position to probably hear your name on Selection Sunday, I think is a great compliment to them. And, and, and I think my coaches have done the best job um, maybe that they've ever done this year with, with the stuff that we've dealt with. So uh, we're just excited to you know, be doing what we're doing in March. Is there any rhyme or reason when it comes to, like, you look at how you guys played on a neutral site for you played pretty well? I don't know if that has to do with, like, okay, back then it had stuff, but then, like, quote, unquote, road games is different. Yeah. Is, is there anything to that almost? Or? Yeah, no, I think there is. And I think if you look at our schedule, we, we put together our schedule at the beginning of the year based on the struggles we had the year before, and we wanted to challenge our team. Obviously, we played neutral court games, um, you know, two in Portland. We played Villanova, who obviously turned out to be really good um, on a neutral court. We, you know, we went to you and I. We went to Iowa. So I, I think we've, we put our at plus nine Big 12 road games. So, I mean, I, I don't know there's a team in the country that you could look at and say they've done the things that, that they needed to do away from home. Um, and you look at you know, the teams that we played and how many teams we played that are in the NCAA tournament. Cleveland State just won their league, so they're in the NCAA tournament. So um, I'm really proud of the way our team has handled that kind of schedule, and uh, hopefully it'll serve us well now uh, when, it, when it needs to be at the, <laughs> at the highest level. I think you had said like before, sometime during the season that um, you had actually asked, I think, a few of the players, or maybe it was the whole team, like, do you want to go with the phone night invitational right. or yeah. what, how'd that kind of go? I can't remember. No, we, we talked about, you know, options and, and, you know, whether or not, you know, you know, obviously do you want to go somewhere nice and warm and in a fancy hotel or you want to go to Portland? No offense to Portland, but it's, it's rainy and, you know, and play in that event. Or do you want to go to the Mohican Sun in Connecticut and play a neutral court game, which at the time could have been Connecticut. Oh, or do you want to do something else? And they were all like, no, let's play. And, and I think especially when we knew we had Steph, we wanted to do it. I'm glad we did it. Um, and I think, you know, the, the schedule that we played really was one that everyone was excited about. And, and, and like I said, I think that's why our, our numbers are good and we've challenged ourselves. We beat some good teams. We lost to some good teams. But uh, uh, it was a really good non-conference schedule that hope, hopefully, uh, so when we do get to the next level, you know, we've seen different teams, different styles, different venues, uh, and hopefully that's a good thing. Did you ask them again? When? Yeah, uh, it was late summer, early. Like, the, the Phil Knight thing came about kind of late. Yeah. So we talked about a lot of different options, and they were all 
all of them were kind of like, yeah, let's go play whoever we can play. Let's sounds fun. I mean, they don't. Most of them are like, hey, let's just go play. The biggest thing was we had to make a decision on. Normally, you go to a Thanksgiving tournament and you go to a nice hotel and nice beach and nice and warm and whoever. You had to, we had to make some adjustments to our schedule because the Mohican Sun thing was in December and and the Phil Knight thing. And it, was, it turned out to be really cool because the the PK event was the guys were there too. So that turned out to be a, a really great thing, and, and that was a bonus that we weren't completely sure of at the time. They just wanted free Nike stuff. Oh, yeah. If they get the free, yeah. When they got the shoes and stuff, they were pretty funny. Yeah, they're still wearing their little Phil Knight stuff. Yeah, Nike took really good care of us. So we were, yeah, it's all about the swag. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Thank you, guys. 